Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will talk about what calculator you should use during the FE exam. Is one calculator better than another? Is it true that some calculators cannot be used? Well, keep watching this video before you take the FE exam to make sure that you have the right calculator, because if you don't, your chance of passing the FE exam might suffer greatly. Let's jump right in. To prevent unauthorized transcription and distribution of the exam questions, calculators with communicating and text editing capabilities have been banned by the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, also known as NCEES. You may love the reverse Polish notation of your HP calculator. However, you'll have to get used to one of the calculators that NCEES has approved for the exam. You should start using one of the approved calculators at the beginning of your study preparation so that you are familiar enough with it by the time of the exam. Please note that the list of approved calculators is reviewed annually. Every single year they look at it and consider changing it. The following calculator models are the only ones acceptable for use during the 2021 exams as of the publication of this video. Casio, all Casio FX115 and FX991 models. Any Casio calculator must have FX115 or FX991 in its model name. Hewlett Packard, the HP 33S and 35S models are permitted, but no others. Texas Instruments, all TI30X and TI36X models are permitted. Any Texas Instruments calculator to be used must have TI30X or TI36X in its model name. Now, it's not easy to pick a clear winner here but here's some information, including pricing and customer reviews that might help you out a bit. First, let's look at the Casio FX115. FX115 covers any FX115 models, including the MS, MS+, MSSR, ES, and the ESPI. The Casio FX115 ES Plus has some really great features, including free instructional videos, mechanics. The Casio is very lightweight, it is supported on four small nodules. This means that it won't feel unstable when you're bashing on the keys during a quick calculation. The FX115 has a flat cover and back and is very stable. User's Guide. The User's Guide clearly explains the multi-line display, how the input and results are displayed, and how to perform the functions of the calculator. The cost for the FX115 ranges from approximately 15 to 20 US dollars and received approximately 750 ratings on Amazon with an average of five out of five stars. Next, Texas Instruments TI-30X and TI-36X. These include many versions like the A, ASEIIB, IIS Pro, and more. Both of the TIs, the 30X and 36X, are still on the market and readily available. The 36X is a little more pricey because it has a much better display screen. Many engineering graduates know how to use TI-89s and TI-90s, and therefore they are comfortable with the navigational layout of the TI's menu system. Now, because they already know these versions, most examinees will have an accelerated learning curve to adapt from a TI-89 to a TI-36X Pro. This time savings can be used on doing practice tests and reviewing more practice problems. The cost for the TI-30X ranges from approximately 10 to 15 US dollars and received more than 22,000 ratings on Amazon with an average five out of five stars. The TI-36X Pro calculator ranges from 18 to $25 and received more than 15,000 ratings on Amazon, again, with an average of five out of five stars. Lastly, the Hewlett Packard models, HP 33S and HP 35S. These are the only HPs permitted for the exam. The Hewlett Packard HP 35S is the better of the two options available from HP. Both are programmable. Both have books available for sale on Amazon, which include equations for the FE exam to enter into your calculator. Many people choose this option when they have prepared extensively in advance. Others need less time to review, for example, college seniors, so they have time to learn how to utilize the equations and the HP on their own. They don't need that additional guide. 
The HP 35S scientific calculator ranges from approximately 45 to 55 US dollars and has received more than 1300 ratings on Amazon with an average of four and a half out of five stars. The bottom line here is to choose a calculator that will suit your specific needs. To familiarize yourself with the calculator prior to the exam, well prior, and to know how to use each and every function on the calculator. I will post links in the comments section of this video where you can buy these calculators as well as references to the articles used to compile this video and an article on our website pepasspoint.com summarizing all of this information. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below. I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you need help with or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.